to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am bringing you my top requested video since the week I started my YouTube channel two years ago. And I'm giving you a home tour of my home. I don't know why I've been putting it off so much. I will tell you why, I do know. Because my house is never clean all at once. And I have told y'all this before, if you've been following my channel for a while, either the downstairs is clean and the upstairs is a hot mess or the upstairs is clean and the downstairs is a hot mess. It's never all cohesive, but that's okay. I figured, who cares, right? Not every house is clean all the time. We do not have, have a house cleaner or keeper. It is me, I do it all, so I can only do so much. Um, so I'm bringing you a home tour and I will go through each room and I kind of describe some of the furniture we have in there, where we got it if I can remember, and um, decor where we got it if I can remember, and then link whatever I can if I can remember. It's been a while. Some stuff is newer, some stuff we've had since we moved in, which was in, 2019 um so fairly new house if you are describing how long we live into a home um we moved in 2019 we lived in our camper for over almost over a year um while we built it me my husband my two kids and our two dogs at the time it was quite a ex humbling experience um but i do have some fun unique rooms in this house um if you are building your own or if you're wanting to remodel or kind of change up something in your home, this may give you some ideas. We did not use a builder. We did, but we didn't. We use, my husband works, um, he runs a plumbing company that specializes in new construction homes. So he knows a lot of people, a lot of contractors, a lot of builders. Um, so we actually used a friend. Me and my husband de designed the house. We hired an architect to draw up the blueprints and then our builder friends kind of helped contracted out to different companies. We've pulled favors from people um, that kind of owed my husband from past work that he's done and it all kind of just came together. Um, I will show you starting in the front entryway, each room, even the back patio, even we have some chickens. If y'all want to see those, I'll take you back to the hen house and show you that as well. So let's get into this video. I know you guys have been waiting for this for literally forever and I've been telling you, oh, in January, oh, Christmas, oh, here, but it is Finally, we're finally doing it. So I'm really excited. Hope you guys like it. It's just gonna be super realistic, super laid back, very chill. I don't have like a camera crew here. Like I've seen some home tours and it's like very professional. It's just me, the camera, and you guys. So I hope you like it. Let's get so it. So we are outside. I'm not gonna show you like the full frontal of the house just because I don't know. I just don't like having that on YouTube. Um, but this is kind of our <laughs> flower bed, y'all. It's freezing. We went through Arctic blasts. Some of the plants are dying. These will be replaced in the spring. But you can kind of see that it's in different layers. And then these are the stairs walking up to the front entryway. You've seen this a million times. Not a million, but whenever I do my Christmas decorating or my holiday decorating for Halloween or even just like cleaning it up for springtime, you've seen this doorway. I really love, whenever we saw these doors, we knew automatically that these were the ones we didn't have to look anymore. I love the beautiful detail. It's almost like it's weaved, kind of like a basket. I loved it. And then the um, handles with these swirls, they really do need to be cleaned. This whole outdoor area needs to be cleaned, but for now, it's fine. It's freezing. No one's coming over. Who cares? Um, this rug, I figured I would just keep it out here. It's really for Christmas, but January is still cold, so the snowflakes are still relevant. So walking in, this is a Routes Iron Door and it's like hurricane, of course there's Remy. It is a hurricane grade door. So it's, let me see if I have lights. There we go. Um, it's Texas and we do get, oh, Remy, we do get some hurricanes. So we wanted to make sure we had a hurricane safe front door so the wind wasn't blowing it open. Um, it does open. If you twist these knobs, these will open. So when it's spring and the weather's nice, we'll open those up and let some fresh air come through. Okay, so this is the front entryway. You can see up here we have our chandelier. We actually got this chandelier at a discount light store. It was on sale and I saw it and I'm like, that would be perfect for our style. As you can kind of see from, from my past videos, we do not have a farmhouse home. It's very contemporary, very modern, very monotone um, with the grays and the blacks and the whites. We have, these are the stairs going up to the game room, the media room and a guest bedroom and a bathroom upstairs. Um, my dream home as a child <laughs> was to have a curved stairway so that I could put my Christmas tree 
right here. And that's exactly what we did Christmas time or and Halloween. Halloween we have a spooky Christmas or a spooky tree. And then for Christmas, obviously we have our traditional Christmas tree over here. And it's so beautiful and it makes me so happy. We have lights going up the stairs so that at night no one trips and falls. You can look over here and I really wanted the outside of the house to look very castle-like if you, I don't know like the builder term for that style, I don't know. But um, these windows definitely give that vibe, especially from the outside because it is curved and there is stone going all the way up and it goes into kind of like a pointed peak on the roof. So very castle-like, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella. So this is our formal dining room. You've seen this room before when I decorate for Christmas and Halloween. I'll do some fun tablescapes over here. Um, these chairs are my favorite chairs, actually. We got them from At Home. I do believe they still have them because I have seen them before. If you haven't At Home near you, a lot of our decor, a lot of our rugs, a lot of our chairs come from them because their prices are just really great prices and good quality these chairs have lasted forever and they're so pretty in this room i love the little detail on them this rug we got from macy's at um they had like their what did macy's used to call it the red apple sale or something and i think it was only like 200 bucks and it fit perfectly in this room this glass table my husband actually had before we got together so it's literally like 15 years old we are actually getting rid of it because we got a new table coming in so i will share that in a future video very excited it's going to kind of lighten this room up a little bit make it a little softer so i hope y'all guys like it um all most of our windows have these little shutters in all the bedrooms very simple to just adjust the lining if you want to uh this mirror my husband also had before we got together y'all he's got good taste um so this came from our old house to our new house i'm not sure where he got it but i absolutely love it this was something i knew i definitely wanted to keep forever it's so beautiful um, this, I know, I don't know if y'all have seen these, but these are our axolotls. My kids wanted these little creatures and they hardly even talk to them. So now I talk to them. This is Alakai. Um, I'm assuming she's a girl because she's pink, but that would not be proper of me. So I don't know. He or she, I'm not sure. Super cute though. And then Wasabi, he's right here. He always like tries to scare me. Um, he's super cute. They're fun. Oh, he can hear us. <laughs> they're fun and silly and they just kind of float around, but their tank's really cool. So those are our little pets. And then we can walk over here into the bar area. Y'all have seen this room many times as well. This is a quartz countertop. Um, I believe this is called like um, a hammered nickel sink. Could be wrong. Um, and we just did some built-in cabinets. This is custom made that hangs up our wine glasses, tons of storage. We have an ice machine that makes the Sonic ice, which I really love. It's an investment, but the kids use it, I use it. It's just so convenient. Um, and then it's kind of just like a wraparound bar right here. I'll get you a close-up on this backsplash. Whenever me and my husband were picking stuff out, it was very easy. We have very similar tastes. Thank goodness. So a lot of stuff we agreed on. Um, and this back black backsplash was one of them. I love how it has like the kind of like, it looks like it's almost broken glass, but it's a solid piece. It's very pretty. And then of course, y'all, we still have our, <laughs> we still have our nutcrackers out. Me and my husband need to put these up. They're just super heavy. So it takes us motivation to put them up. Um, they're cute though. So we have them out. We'll put them up probably this weekend, but this is my wine wall. Um, I don't, I love wine, obviously. I like collecting it, as you can see. But this was more, for me, a decor piece, a statement piece. Um, we ordered the racks from, I believe the website is wineracks.com, literally. And then we had someone come in and put them in. If you look closer, my husband put these lights on here. We did them like two Christmases ago. And we just kept them there because they were really cool. Um, you can look back here in the stone. It has like little shimmers. And these lights kind of bring out the shimmer. It's hard to see on camera, but it's very, very pretty. And then some up lights shooting upward to kind of make the brick shine a little, or the stone shine a little bit more. But this is one of my favorite places in the house. I try not to drink too much wine, so I don't have too many holes. As you can see, there's one right there. Um, but very fun and pretty. Headed into the primary bedroom. Um, this is our bed. The bedding is from Pottery Barn. This weighted blanket is from Target. Um, this beautiful artwork is from Star Furniture. 
I believe. These lamps, I love these lamps because they're very simple. I got those from Tuesday morning. I don't know if you've ever heard of a Tuesday morning, but I was looking for something to kind of soften the room up a little bit and I feel like they just did a really great job. The bed and the nightstands are from some store in Houston, Texas. I cannot even remember the name, but the bed is so heavy. You're probably wondering why our rug is like this. If you're like an interior designer, it's probably driving you bonkers, but the rug is supposed to be under the bed some with just a few feet hanging off of each end but the bed is so heavy me and my husband cannot lift it and slide the rug ourselves so this is just what we're working with but it's fine i mean it doesn't bother me too much um but the bed is very heavy so this is just kind of how it's got to be for now um but it was like a, i can't remember the name it was in houston and it was like a bougie furniture store if I could go back in time I would not get this bed because I'd like one that I could like lift and clean underneath a little easier um this table over here I get a lot of questions but actually number one most asked question on my youtube channel what the heck is up with this penguin okay so my favorite tv show is friends um I don't know if y'all know what that is but I literally watch it every day it's my comfort show I watch it while I'm cleaning while I'm cooking just to relax I don't know why to fall asleep to wake up, I don't know. Um, but this is Hugsy off of Friends. If you know, comment down below if you know who Hugsy is because that would be awesome. So my husband actually got me this penguin as a gift because I love the show so much. Moving over here, so this table we get a lot of questions about as well because it's super unique. If y'all have been to my channel, you know that mine and my husband's style is very different. Or It's not farmhouse, it's not, I don't even know what it is, it's like, nautical because we have the sea creatures everywhere we have i don't know it's comment down below what i could call it i know it's like contemporary modern i don't know anyways um so this table we got from a store called z gallery i don't believe they have any more open stores they may up north but i think a lot of the ones down south may have closed i could be wrong but i do believe they have an online store so this table came without the glass top and then we had we just picked up the glass top to put on top of it so that we can actually set things on it um i need to put like something floral in there i haven't yet this is just a fun little octopus i believe we got him from at home we get a lot of our stuff from at home just a candle family photo this mirror i absolutely love it it's so beautiful we got it from at home i like the detail too on here it's like these like beaded and that pretty i love it um very simple it goes perfect over this table moving on over here to our entertainment slash tv area we just have these built-in shelving and i just put a few little sculptures decor of course we have our little whale tail heart because it's my me and my hubby's room the tv is mounted on this tile um, I'll have to ask, if y'all have any questions about anything, paint colors, tile, whatever, leave it down below because I have to ask my husband, but I'll give you a close up. It kind of just goes with the overall house. We really tried to make it pretty symmetrical and cohesive and kind of flow with each room. Um, we have a natural gas fireplace in here. We don't use it very often, um, but whenever it does get super cold outside, it is nice to turn it on and it warms up the room very quickly a lot of this decor is from at home hobby lobby you can find this stuff pretty much anywhere i believe this clock is from home goods very pretty super heavy duty um and then here's where remy sleeps we'll show you his little house sometimes he sleeps in the bed with us he's been doing better though by getting back in his kennel because from a minute there he was super annoying by taking up he's small but he takes up he likes to lay long ways in between the two of us. So before you know it, we're on falling off the, each of the sides. Of a lot of our ceilings have these, I think they're like, they're called drop downs. Um, and then there's actually a rope light that is lined all along there. So it kind of gives it a nice cozy vibe. I, I think I can turn everything else off. There we go. And then it's just a nice, subtle, romantic light. Even with the lamps, it looks really good. Moving on to our bathroom. Over here we have his and her sinks. Um, the color of the cabinets that we kept all throughout the house through the entertainment center, the kitchen, the bathroom is Gray Matters by Sherwin-Williams, I'm pretty sure. We picked out all of these um, hardware pieces. 
I'm trying to think of where we got these. I'll have to ask Heavy, but they were so cute and I thought they were a little different. You don't really see this kind of pattern too often. Um, these mirrors are actually adjustable with the light, so you'll see me and then you can turn it down or turn it completely off. So I thought those were really fun whenever we were looking. Um, the sinks, they're kind of sitting on top of the granite. They don't really fall into it. There's like a special word for it. My husband would know it, but I don't know. Um, and then this is just a ton of storage. I knew I wanted a ton of storage with this bathroom. This is where we keep our towels and washcloths. Over here is my vanity table. Y'all have seen this bathroom a hundred times if you're not new to my channel. So this is where I do my makeup. I'll have to get the name of this granite. I want to say Galaxy. No, it's not Galaxy. I'll ask my husband as well, but it's very, very pretty. I love the kind of like the black and white contrasting. And then this is like a makeup mirror so you can see all of your nooks and crannies when you're trying to put on your makeup. Over here is the bath. If y'all know, we don't really use it very often. Whenever I took time to myself, I would with a bath bomb and relax, but we're just so busy now, we just hop in the shower. Um, but it's very large. You could fit multiple people in it if you wanted to. Um, my favorite part about it is how it does like a waterfall. And then this fun tree sculpture that fits perfectly on that window. Over here we have this white, like skinnier style of stone. It also kind of like shimmers when the light hits it. It's really pretty. And then the infamous shower. Tons of comments about this shower. I don't know what to say. My husband likes a big shower. We've had one very similar to it in our old house. Um, we just have this glass wall right here. And then this, I believe, no, this isn't the same. I thought this was the same tile as it was in the bedroom, but it's not. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six shower heads going this way, one held, handheld, and then a rainmaker up top. I do clean this shower weekly. Um, the pebble flooring down here, I also yearly or, or every half a year will clean it, deep clean it, and then reseal it so that it has that nice shine to it. For the most part, I can keep it pretty clean. It does take a lot of effort. I mean, obviously it's a huge shower, but um, I don't know, we love it. Joe loves it, he designed it. I'll give him credit for this one. Um, I love how he put the inserts. You can see my side is <laughs> a lot more full than his side. The difference between a man and a woman. Um, but I love that those kind of go into the wall instead of sticking out, like hanging over Sometimes you see storage all over the place, so it just makes it a little more neat. Okay, we'll just keep moving on this way. So this is my mirror room. Um, basically, it's so you can see your outfits from every different angle. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes I don't like to see what's behind me. Um, but it's a fun room, I do, have a hard time keeping it clean because when my kids come in here, they put all their sticky little fingers on it. Um, but it's just a fun little add-on if you're needing, you know, something fun to add to your room. We'll go on to the closet. So this is a custom closet. Everything is built in. Um, I basically got on Pinterest and sent my husband pictures. See, look, I need to put clothes up. Of what I wanted for a closet and the main thing was this spinning shoe rack. I love how it keeps everything super organized. These are all my tennis shoes. And then you can spin it. We've got boots. Dress shoes that I really don't wear because I don't really go anywhere. <laughs> um, but it's really fun. I saw it off Pinterest, sent it to my husband, and he had him, our carpenter, design it for us. Tons of storage in this closet. This is my husband's shoe rack. We have storage all along the top. We I don't even think we use this. My dogs are barking. There's probably deer outside. Um, and then different sections from the clothes. This is where I keep all my dresses and my longer things because there's no um, cut off in the middle of it. Long sleeve shirts, jeans, shorts, sandals, short sleeve shirts, jackets. This is all a hubby's stuff. Um, over here we just have, there's just like a pretty glass cabinet where you can see your purses, my perfumes. My goal is to have it all filled with books because I love 
the way a full bookshelf looks. So I don't know how many years it's going to take me, but I think it'll be so pretty to have all the books and then them kind of like in rainbow coordinated. I don't know. We'll see. That's a lot of books that I have to read. We also got this ottoman from Rooms to Go. Um, it's very good quality, super cute. It works perfect in this room when you need to sit to put your shoes on or whatever it is. Um, oh, and the light up here, I'll show you. I don't know where we got this, but it's actually really cool. And you can turn off the other light. So it's not gonna show you, it's not gonna do very, there we go. See how it kind of shows. It's almost like you're in the woodsy, like um, tree branches type of style. So it's all the way around. And if you come up a little closer, you can see little gem, gem strings of crystals hanging. So it's very pretty, gives that glamorous vibe whenever you're getting ready. In my case, the glamorous vibe whenever I'm putting my pajamas because I don't go anywhere y'all to show y'all this chandelier as well. Whenever we built or were designing the bathroom decor wise, I really wanted it to be glamorous, very chic, definitely wanted a chandelier. I even thought about getting one of those r big rounds where you can sit in them. I don't know what they're called, but they're big, round, cushiony, and they have the, the middle part coming up and it would sit right underneath this, but we never got around to it. Maybe one day. This is the office. The office is not tidy. It has all my random cleaning things. Um, this is where I edit my videos. This, I believe I got this rug from Amazon. Look, I clean my house for a living. So the office is where I do keep my work stuff. So here's my work stuff. Mop, mop, steam cleaner, vacuum. Um, and then behind this beautiful <laughs> um, built-in shelving and cabinets. Uh, this is granite also over here and then we use the same hardware that we use in the bathroom in here We also use the same hardware in here that we use in the kitchen We wanted to keep everything very cohesive a lot of this decor came from at home These were my husband's father's we inherited those when he passed um, And then this stuff over here was from at home These my husband had before me, but they're really cool and then I don't know if y'all remember Toby um, from the beginning of my channel. He was in a ton of videos, but Toby is in here in the office as well. So this is our powder bath. As you can see, we have the same backsplash that we use in the bar area on this entire wall, and it kind of cuts off right here. And then this is the tile that we use in our bedroom for our entertainment center. So you can see how things are like very um, cohesive and they kind of flow from room to room. This is our sink in here. Gosh, I wish I could remember the, here's the brand of it. I don't know if that's, it's like D, I don't know, but very modern. I love the black sink. We do have a black toilet in here. Um, it just kind of blends in a little better. Um, these are some of my favorite light fixtures that we have. You can see they're kind of industrial and hang off the wall like that. It's actually connected to like a wire of cables it's really cool and then this mirror right here it does adjust and it kind of comes off the wall a little bit so over here we just have some artwork i believe this was from at home and then a little table with a few decor items on it over here we brought the backsplash just a thin layer of it to kind of pull together this side with this side it just makes it a little more decorative I think um, with having just the plain wall I don't know what color this is but I'll find out just the plain wall on top and then the tile and the border separating it okay so now we're gonna head upstairs oh Remy is going to guide us here's your tour guide Remy <laughs> so upstairs is the game room the media room a guest bedroom some attic space let me turn on I don't know if it's messy up here or not. I don't think so. Um, attic space and a bathroom. So I'll start with, I get a lot of comments on this carpet. We got this at a local carpet store. We wanted something different up here. Y'all, I'm out of breath from those stairs. We wanted something different up here. A little fun because it's a game room. Air hockey table. We got this off of Amazon for our kids Christmas last year, I think. Um, me and my husband actually carried this up these stairs and it was a nightmare, but here it is. Um, walking into the game room, you can see the balcony overlooks the living room. And then on this side, here's a better look 
at that light. And this light was on sale and it just goes so perfect. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is the railing that we decided on. We wanted to keep it pretty modern. So the straight lines with the squares, just very sleek. Moving on. This is just the, okay, so here we go. My daughter was making an obstacle course. This is just a super cozy couch. We got it from Rooms to Go, very inexpensive. We did not want anything expensive up here because look, they jump over it, stack the pillows to the sky. They spin around in this chair. They just have a good old time up here. So um, it's just a gray like spinning lounger and then super soft couch over here from rooms to go entertainment center i believe is from star furniture we had this at the old house and since we did a custom entertainment center built in here we put this one up here nerf guns um we did like a friends theme or like a new york theme up here so we have our friends sayings here's a new york sign we also have from the friends door that you see in their apartment. Y'all know I love friends, so. <laughs> um, and then kids just hang out up here. They play, they'll watch TV. Another friend's poster. I got these off of Amazon, and then I just put them in like a little poster frame. They're very, it's plastic. Nothing's getting broke, so, because the kids are up here. And then this is unfinished, actually. So this is supposed to be a mini fridge with waters and like snacks for the kids for the movie room. This is supposed to have more decor. We've just haven't done it. One day we will. If you walk through here, we have our guest room. How messy is it? I don't think it's that messy. Um, so we just, this is my daughter's old bed from our old house, I believe. Yeah, I don't think that's new. Um, and then y'all remember big chair from the living room. We put her up here. This is kind of just like put things somewhere. Um, an old jewelry box, some extra blankets for when kids come over. Hey, Rim. Um, very simple decor in here. This room barely gets used. This was my daughter's old dresser. We put it up here. This is just extra blankets. Yeah, pretty simple. Remy, what are you doing? You can't stay here. Come on, let's go. Come on, you wanna go? He said, yeah, I'm not staying in this dark room. Okay, and this is our media room. I don't know how clean this room is either. It's not too bad, it looks like. Okay, um, so this is the carpet that we picked for this room. I've seen some media rooms, oh, I need a vacuum. I've seen some media rooms where they have like the movie scrolls and it's super loud carpeting, like stars and stuff. We wanted something a little more subtle, um, but we didn't want it to kind of clash too much with this one. So when this door is shut, you really can't see it. Um, and we did do like stacked, like, um, I don't know what it's called, but like, I guess theater style. These chairs are theater style chairs. We still haven't figured out what to do with cords and stuff up here in these chairs. Ugh. One day when it's, when we have extra time, I guess we'll figure out how to make that look a little bit, bit excuse me, look a little bit better. Um, but the chairs we got from Star Furniture. And they are actual like media room chairs. They recline, they light up. Let me see if I can, you can see the cup holders light up and they move around. So this is where we literally hang out almost every weekend. Bean bags for the kids. They're kind of all over the place cause they jump on them, the dogs lay on them. Um, and then this is the projector that we have. This is the projector screen. This is the projector that we have it's, let me see, JVC. It works really well. We use Netflix, um, Amazon Prime movies, HBO Max. It's just, it's basically like a smart TV. Well, this is what we plug into it, a Roku. Here we go. And then the Roku turns on and then it shows whatever movie we wanna watch. This door is attic space. This is just an extra bathroom. This is like my husband's bathroom where he trims his hair. So y'all have seen this recently in a video. I just added um, some rugs and a curtain because we did have guests stay up here. So I wanted to make sure they had everything that they needed. We do have like some movie theater posters to make it look like a real theater. We need to update them, but they're pretty cool. And then the sconces, is that what these are called? Media lights. They're just little kind of like glass squares and then you can adjust them 
Sorry, it looks like so dark, but you can adjust how dark they go. So you can make it movie like this or pitch black or all the way on, whatever you want. Okay, so we'll move on to the living room. Y'all have seen this room a million times. Um, this entertainment center is built in. This is the color Gray Matters by Sherwin-Williams. We use the same hardware that we used in the bathroom, the kitchen, the office, and my baby's pictures. Just some a little decor. I don't do a ton of decor in my house. I try to keep it really simple, really basic, because I feel like when you have, I try to do more like pieces like this with the stone going all the way to the ceiling. I feel like this is decor enough for this area. It's very dramatic, fireplace. Um, I do have this picture. I don't know where we got this. We've had this at the other house too. I don't I have no, I cannot remember. I wanna say star furniture, but I could be wrong. Um, but the stone going all the way up is very dramatic to me. The three big windows over here, we do have a fun little moose guy up there. Um, whenever you have this balcony, the ceiling kind of speaks for itself. We also have the rope lights all through there as well. I just don't think I need too much decor because the items themselves are decor. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but here is, this is a little bit that we have. My book that I've been reading. Our couch is from Star Furniture. It is new. We literally had one just like it. We just didn't have the middle piece. So we wanted the middle piece. Well, the reason why we bought basically the same couch is because it lasted so long even with these dogs who sit on top of it lay on top of it rebel and you know we needed something this is leather so it doesn't scratch when they jump on it we knew the old couch was really good quality so if it's not broke why change it um but i did want to get the centerpiece so it kind of closes in the living room blankets all over the place if y'all know me and you've seen my channel before you know that's nothing out of the ordinary um the rug that we have in here is a ruggable rug I actually this is my second one that i've bought um, very easy. You can lift it up, throw it in the washing machine, and then lay it out to dry. Really cute. Um, I may be able to link it. I'll see if I can link it. Um, but I've, this is my second one that I bought, so they work really well. I really like them. And I'll probably end up getting another one, too, for maybe the summertime. So another, <laughs> the vacuum, another um, reason why I don't have a ton of decor is because we have this beautiful fish tank, and it takes up a lot of space. It's very pretty. Um, my husband loves saltwater fish. Y'all, if y'all have been following for a while, you kind of know that. So this is his fish tank, and we've got all kinds of beautiful fish. They're so cute, and that kind of explains a lot of our decor. This is Barry the Barracuda. Um, it's just fun. We like nautical themed things, but we also like a more modern type of look. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so we'll go through the kitchen very quickly because I feel like a lot of y'all have seen this kitchen so many times. Um, this is our informal dining table. We got this from Star Furniture and we got these chairs from at home. I love the, it's not real y'all, but I think it's like snake skin or alligator but it's not real don't worry um but very cute um, i really like how it looks with the table and then this table over here we inherited from my father-in-law when he passed um it worked i think it looks really good with the it's kind of reminds me of coral which goes along with our like nautical theme this beautiful sailboat we also got from my father-in-law and then this picture as well it all looks really good over here and it matches perfectly with the table that we already had. So you can see we have built-in cabinets. They are the gray matters color. We use the same hardware that we used in the all the other rooms. Um, and then a ton of storage. So we were living in a camper when we built this house. So storage was like my main focus. So we have uh, above the fridge, we have these glass um cabinets up top and then our main cabinets at the bottom uh thermidor fridge this is the freezer a wine cooler and the refrigerator these are all quartz countertops i wanted the island to be very big because we always host parties we have family and friends over here so this is always like a ton of food the lineup the buffet whatever um so that was definitely something that i wanted when we were building this house was for hosting um thermidor 
stove and hood vents. And then we have our microwave down here. It's pull out. We kept it down here so the kids could reach it really easy. Ton of storage on both sides over here as well. Um, moving on, this is a coffee maker. This is Thermador, so we just put whole bean coffee into it. It grinds it, um, and it's very good coffee, very fresh. We love it. This is the pantry that needs to be organized. I will do an organized pantry video very soon, but you can see ton of storage. I wanted a place that I could fit all of my smaller kitchen appliances without them being out on the cabinets. And then over here is just, I need to put all that away, um, quartz countertops. This is a like stone, I don't know. I have to look it up. It's like stone deposit sink or Anyways, it's a stone sink. I'll, I'll leave in the comments what exactly it is, but we ended up getting the black one. It works really well, you can't scratch it. Um, and then our dishwasher. Okay, just a few more rooms left. Laundry room. We went with white cabinets in here, a granite countertop. This is like our drink fridge, freezer for extra meats and stuff like that. Y'all, it's a mess, but this is what my kids come home from school and they throw all their stuff. Um, washer, dryer clothes these are clean these are dirty this like i said this is a very realistic home tour um but i wanted the laundry room to be very spacious so for my husband and his salt water tanks this is his little room where he makes his salt water for his fish tank i said that was fine definitely do that but i need a door so that i don't see it right just what i don't see i don't know so ton of storage in here as well Lots of space. Okay, my son's room, bed not made. Pretty typical, actually it's fine because we were all running late this morning, so I'll allow it. Um, but this is his room, typical boy, he's got a TV. Um, this is his gaming computer that he got for Christmas. He loves Pokemon. Um, I, if y'all watched my Christmas haul and y'all were wondering if this gaming computer was any good, it's definitely very, very good. Very easy to assemble and he loves it. And then this is that gaming chair that he, we got from Costco as well. And I believe I linked this too. So if you watch that Christmas video and you're curious or you're wondering, this turned out really well. Um, his little jellyfish lamp, this is cool. I got this for them for Christmas too. Does anyone else kids leave like water bottles everywhere? But this is so cool. They like swim around and you can connect it to your music. This brick wallpaper that we got done right when we moved in. This is kind of like we have the moose out there. We put the deer in his room. His room's kind of a mess, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Um, he loves Pokemon. So we have some Pokemon posters. This wallpaper. I mean, this color blue. I'll have to figure out what that is. My husband should know. But I let my kids pick out their own colors for their room. So this is the one that he chose. His bed, I believe, is from Rooms to Go. He needs a fan. <laughs> like, at all times. And then we have this fan as well. And then he also has the shutters in his room also. This is his peg wall that we made just for him to have some fun shelving. Um, his bathroom, my kids have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So this is his closet, fishing pole. This is a Sonic that he made out of post-it notes, built-in dressers. Um, there's no door on here. You kind of just go in here and then all his clothes hung up. Some extra steppies in here. This is just their granite countertops that need to be wiped down. I'll show you how it connects to her room. So this is sister's room. Her room's not that bad, bed not made, but it is what it is. And um, we added these fun little Christmas lights to make it a little more festive in here. This is the desk she got for Christmas. Um, this is one of the chairs from the dining room, but I'm letting her borrow it until we get her a new desk. Um, their rooms are kind of their own domain. She has do y'all remember when we took the village away? Y'all, she wanted the village to come back. So I was so happy. Yes, let me get it out of the attic. I saved it. So she added a few little barns. She loves horses. There's this picture right here. Um, this desk is from America's Home Furniture or something. And then this is actually from Target. And then I got these wicker baskets from um, Amazon. Another water bottle. She has her own TV. These are her little horse ribbons. Um, 
that's really it in their room. Her room is like a lighter gray. I don't know if you can see. I guess I could turn the light on. It's fine. We're almost done. Um, this is her little bathroom area. And then this is her closet as well. And then I just added some tubs to organize. I definitely need to clean that room. Okay, and now we are in the gym area. It's just your typical gym area. We have our treadmill, our Peloton. I try to use this room as much as possible. All of our dumbbells. My husband gets in here too as well. We have a heater and a AC unit because it gets hot or it gets cold in here. It's like a garage style type of room, so um, it's not that well insulated. We do have mirrors from top to bottom, a rowing machine, just like gym junkie type of stuff. But the floors are this rubber material. You can order this off of Amazon. A lot of people ask me what floor we put in our gym. And this actually comes in huge rolls and it's very heavy. Um, so if you get it, you'll need help moving it. But you basically buy a few rolls and then you shape it to the shape of the gym area that you're wanting to use and it is on So it. last but not least, I'm going to show you the backyard, the back patio. Here is our grill, a trash can, and kind of like a little hibachi type of grill, a smaller one. Um, usually I'll do like a deep clean out here right before the spring or summer season. You walk this way, we have some patio furniture, my husband's mess over here, um, our pool, that we get a ton of use out of during the summer. And our little hot tub over here. This is a barn where we keep just a bunch of random things. And then we're sitting right around, I think five-ish acres. There's a pond back there that my husband, or we, he had Doug, he loves any type of fishing. We have some chickens back there. It's actually very, very cold, so I'm not gonna stay out here too long, but as you can see, we have, um, Pretty good sized backyard. The kids love playing out here in the winter. I mean in the summer <laughs> Not in the winter. You'll never see us out here in the winter. Um, and then here's our patio furniture. We actually got this patio furniture from Where did we get it? I want to say um, um, Wayfair We got it from Wayfair and it's fine. It's pretty lightweight um, you can always order some patio furniture and then just change out your cushions if you're needing to and to make it last a little longer. So this is the outside and these crazy dogs. So we have this like fire pit back here that me and my husband built together. More patio furniture just for hosting. This is actually a fire pit. And um, when we have parties, we'll turn it on if it's cooler outside. And then an act, this is a fire. I guess it's a fire pit. This to me is more like a fire pit because it actually goes in there and you can build your own wood fire with hey some guys, This is where we are wrapping up the home tour, 2023 home tour. I hope you guys liked it. I'm, I was nervous filming it because I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I don't have like a professional crew to follow me around. It's just me and the camera and my sarcasm, I don't know. <laughs> so I hope you liked it, I hope it was slightly entertaining. I hope it answered any questions um, that you had about anything in the house. If you have anything else you wanna ask me, feel free to comment down below. If I don't know the answer, Joe will know the answer. We will get all questions answered for you if you are like wanting to remodel or if you're in the process of building your own custom home or just a house in general, whatever it is, comment down below. I'll be happy to look into it for you. Thank you so much for being here as always. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting, all the wonderful things that y'all do for me to help support my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.